All right, let's take the Lanchester, Lancaster, whatever it's called, Lancaster entry exam for best experience in just the graphics. Sure. I'll oh, use the webcam. Newsletter and YouTuber press kit. Subscribe to the newsletter for episode updates. Get a free game. Oh, well, that's just giving me a back link. What does it say? Opt out of webcam and computer profile name utilization. Let me put my hat on for the sexy people. So I don't look like a complete bum. Alright, let's play it. Let's see how good I am. We're getting the feeling you aren't taking us seriously. No acknowledgement of missing Valerie or the tapes we are leaking. This time we decided to reveal something a little bit closer to home, an old screen recording of one of your training protocols. If she isn't released, maybe the next leak will show you how useless your training is. Does the agent body cam footage ring a bell? No. This is the first time I've been here. ERD, Entity Research Department. Login user. Do I put my name? Okay, enter. Password. Jeez, does it matter what you write here? Dun, 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 dun. I don't know. I don't think it matters, does it? Required learning modules and practice quizzes. Okay, I'm gonna do all six. Base detection. Start with this one. I've never done any of these games. I've kind of seen them. Throughout ERB research, there has been one constant. Entities who possess human characteristics are the most violent, deceptive, and are the greatest threat to public security. <laughs> yeah. It is imperative that agents have the skills to not only detect potential threats, but fast. <laughs> okay. CRD has found the one-year agent fatality rate goes down from 34.7 per 100 to 26.2 per 100 after taking this module and being proficient in this skill. Okay. Using your cursor, click on the face in the image in the allotted time. Distractions may be employed. Begin. Hi there. I'm just going to click on them. Oh, what was that? <laughs> that was creepy. I'm just supposed to click on the faces, I guess. Oh, well, it didn't really have a face, did it? Oh, it's getting faster. <laughs> Not bad.
Not too bad. Situation training. This module has been created to address and rectify observed deviations from established protocols, reaffirming the essential principles that all ERD agents are expected to adhere to consistently. Jeez, I didn't know it was 1991. Lesson one, search. Search stands for calmly collect evidence, eliminate threats, run away, and terminate self. Given an interaction with an entity, these are the order of actions an agent will take during installation. First, of course, is data collection, as research remains the top priority of the RD. Second, eliminate the threat, unless such entity is on the preservation list. A dead entity can be studied, a dead agent cannot. <laughs> preservation if list. Is futile, agent should run. If running is futile, agent should terminate themselves. Let us look at an example, where an agent didn't follow the principles of CDRT. In 1989, agent redacted was collecting data on entity 59 Skinwalker. Suddenly cornered, agent redacted fired all 12 shots of his service pistol into entity. With no bullets left, redacted was subjected to entity 59 s rep. Remember to search, remember to keep an extra round. This video is another example. Think, following the values of search, what would you do? I'd have a bigger flashlight. <clears throat> While well, he's running away, he didn't really collect any data. Didn't engage the threat. Do's and don'ts. Improvements we need in the RD. To interact with entities, if new data can be collected. Don't risk losing obtained data by interacting too much. To help co-workers gather data. Don't become friends with co-workers. To terminate co-workers who leak data. Don't hesitate, explain later. Lesson 3 Follow Mission Protocol Deviation from Mission Protocol endangers yourself co-workers, and data collection. Assisting civilians is strictly forbidden, unless stated otherwise in mission protocol. Reminder, the punishment for deviation is termination. In 1990, Agent Redacted was on a mission studying an entity. The entity was located at Agent Redacted's house. Agent Redacted tried and successfully saved his wife. Agent Redacted didn't follow protocol and both him and his wife were terminated. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This concludes the refresher. We will not remind about these topics again. See your supervisor if you have questions. Man, we're almost a certified agent. A multiple question quiz about these topics will now commence. Uh oh. Were you paying attention, guys? Begin. Okay. An entity has killed your partner but is no longer exhibiting hostile behavior. What should you do? Collect evidence, eliminate threat, run away, or self terminate? I would say collect evidence. Correct! It is a perfect time to collect more data. After a mission, an entity acknowledging followed you home. You have tried to shoot the entity, but your efforts are futile. You are cornered in your room. What should you do? Run away.
You're carrying new discovered data about Enti. You hear your partner up starts cry for help upstairs. It's a typo. You know, you could probably neutralize the threat attacking your partner. What should you do? I would say eliminate the threat. Do not risk losing collected data. You have a do no interfere order on a mission studying an entity. The entity is killing civilians, one of which is your friend. You've been given a weapon strong enough to neutralize the entity. What should you do? Record your friend's death for data. Yeah, you gotta follow the mission protocol. You overhear your supervisor talking about a plan to leak data from ERD. You are worried that you will be in trouble for solving the issue. What should you do? Do nothing. They probably know something you don't. Terminate your boss. Record the conversation and report your boss. Ask your boss to explain the conversation. I'd say terminate. Yeah. Don't hesitate. Every second you don't terminate is another second. Data could be leaked. Oh, we failed. You have to get all five correct? What's three out of five? Doppelganger detection. Due to its emergence as one of the most common and dangerous entities, special training on doppelganger detection was created. Originally thought to be its own entity type, the doppelganger is rather a class of entities who visually and audibly mimic humans. Doppelgangers can be detected from their abnormal features. The most common attributes to look for are loose skin, missing features, and incorrect features. Further classification of the Peldangers can be made by observing the abnormal features. For example, skinwalkers always have loose skin. However, identification is covered in a different module. Using your cursor, click on the doppelganger amongst the humans. Begin. guy for sure sketchy oh well, that's a doppel that's a junior doppelganger uh go with that one Definitely the black eyes. Oh, what? No way. Oh, that guy for sure. Oh, definitely that guy. Hey. Almost aced it. Almost aced it. Image recognition. Training module is to practice quick reaction skills on determining if something is a friend or a foe. Answer in the allotted time, else it will be marked incorrect. Okay. Begin. <laughs> Oh my god, it doesn't show you the picture right away.
Oh, definitely a threat there. No threat. Oh my god, yes. That was a skinwalker if I've ever seen one. No threat. Oh my god, yeah. That looks safe. <laughs> Wholesome basement. I'm going for supervisor. Keep shortening the time limit. Ugh. Do the audio transcription. Agents must be able to accurately transcribe audio coming from unusual sources. Besides being able to detect incoming attacks, agents must document what entities say during encounters, as research remains the number one priority. Type into the console what you hear, and press enter when complete. Begin. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is like being at work. Of course I made a mistake. Do not look behind you. I'm gonna move all this stuff here. Do not look behind you. You are weak and replaceable. <laughs> you are weak and re place a bowl there's no e right yeah Everything is fine. fine, fine, fine. Mm. Everything's fee fine. I don't see, 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 see the sun often. I didn't get that. Thank 
Not a clue. Oh, you got a replay button. <laughs> Come on. That was rough. I'm still going for supervisor at the ERD Entity 101. Entities are otherworldly beings that humans have been encountering for thousands of years. For once was a rare sighting, entities have begun appearing more rapidly through time. This led to the founding of the Entity Research Department. CRD goal is researching entities to protect the public but more importantly, finding utility in entities, and where they come from. The leading theory of where they come from is backdoors, yet no physical evidence has been found yet. That s where you come in. As an agent of ERD you will be conducting highly confidential research missions to explore the gain of function of entities and finding their origin. 
This brief module will explain how entities are classified and show you the four entities the ERD are focusing on in 1992. Entities are given an ID but are often given a nickname. Some entities are given a class that link them to a family of entities. Entities are classified in three ways, threat level, containment, and utility each rated by five levels. Entity, E549. Nickname, Shadow People. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Moderate. Containment, Extreme. Utility, Significant. Shadow People, or Night Terrors, torment their prey during nights when there is low visibility, often in bathrooms, when the prey is sleeping. <laughs> Paralyzing their prey during sleep, Shadow People will ominously watch from a distance. It isn't known why shadow people choose to kill, as they will often torment the same subjects for many years, but when they do, the victim isn't touched. To the civilian world it seems the subjects died in their sleep. The research goal this year is finding out how shadow people choose their prey, and if this can be influenced. If so, E549 could be used in advanced interrogation techniques. Entity, E-718. Nickname, Metronic. Class, Machine. Threat, Low. Containment, Easy. Utility, Moderate. Metronics take the form of animatronics, playful figures that appeal to children. Metronics prey on children with no known case of an adult victim. It isn't known where Metronics bring their children prey, however, they are never seen again. Metronics, although dangerous, they are easy to terminate and capture. The past five years, agents of ERD children have been targeted by Metronics and have taken 107 to date. The research goal this year is finding why Metronics are targeting agent children and how to redirect their targeting. Entity, E59. Nickname, Skinwalker. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Severe. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Significant. Skinwalkers are ancient chapa shifters usually taking the form of animals and uncommonly humans, stealing their skin in the process. Skinwalkers are incredibly violent and when killed leave behind nothing but their body vector. Skinwalkers have a hard time replicating the natural movements of creatures they take control of. Skinwalkers can often be identified by unusual eye size or loose skin. The research goal this year is finding a systematic way to identify skinwalkers 99% of the time and finding out defensive measures that can be taken to prevent loss of possession of bodies. Entity, E-59. Nickname, The Rake. Class, No. Threat, Moderate. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Low. After the elimination of the Wendigo, a new creature has seemingly taken its place in the Midwest of America and Southern Canada. Humanoid in shape, the rake has varying size limbs but usually conforms to a light pasty color skin. Rakes hunt at night and humans are their favorite prey. Rakes are susceptible to gunfire, yet are incredibly agile and thus hard to shoot. The research goal this year is finding out the cause of their resurgence and the correlation after the Wendigo eradication. Is there a point of taking out entities, if there is always a bigger fish? A brief quiz will now begin. Begin. Oh. It's timed. What? Uh, Skinwalker. Uh, Rake. A children, a child of an agent has been taken in a matronic. What you do? Terminate, run away, capture, follow, and find origin. What gives away this entity is a Skinwalker. Loose skin. Shadow people kill their prey after how long? 
I thought it was a while. Yeah. One to three years, they say. A rake has approached you during a mission. All you have to do is serve a special. Are you able to terminate the entity? They're hard to shoot. Apparently. You have a child, and after watching this training video, you have learned your child is at risk of abduction. You should warn family. <laughs> Wrong answer. Passed. Man, we are ERD agents. Comprehensive exam. I guess we haven't passed yet. The final exam will now begin. A mixture of content from previous modules. Begin. They gotta lose the time limit. <clears throat> Did you check the latch? Jeez. What if you can't type that fast? An NT is starting appearance. What should you do? Collect evidence. Yeah, the one on the right, right? You have counter Metronic during the mission. Are you in danger? No, collect data. Whoa. Terminate yourself, terminate yourself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, threat. Shadow people. Your co-worker who considered a good friend seems to be infected by something. You want to save them, but you don't know how to do to put them down. This is an example of which principle will keep you having round of agents. Data leakers are terminated. Keep collecting data. Oh. Are you serious? No, oh, that was close. That was close. No threat. Uh, threat. Save the children, eliminate the threat, or observe. I'm gonna say observe. Choose the correct entity. It's a rake. Uh, shadow people. Uh, that guy. <laughs> that guy. Uh, threat. Passed. Oh, we got one wrong. This a HR module is complete. Stop watching before they find you. Bam. Well, you can take the Lancaster test yourself. It's on Steam. Oh. It was probably recording me as I was doing it, was it?
Oh, I thought I was going to play something cool. What's that? Click on the phone. Oh, that's another game, Crisis at Call Center. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you thought it was a good laugh. And uh, look out for rakes, skinwalkers, and shadow people while you're uh, doing your day-to-day -day business. And we'll see you in the next one.